Hey guys, welcome back to the Real Sociedad career mode. Today we're going to find out exactly what's going to happen with Marino. Of course, his release clause got activated and I've decided to just let it happen. I think you guys are happy with that decision. Otherwise, it would have just been pointless having all of the release clauses. So it's been paid. He's going to leave. And I think it was Bayern. Was it Bayern? I'm pretty sure it was. Um, I added a few players to my transfer list, or my shortlist, I should say. And there were two clear favourites I could see in the comments as well. Also, a few other names thrown in there. Um, I'm going to remove Alenia. I don't think he's... look. He, he's, he's not quite what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a defensive midfielder, really. So, although he's a great player, he is going to be removed. Sansei, it's the same, really. He's not a defensive midfielder, although he is a talented young player. And he would do quite well for us. The fact he's 75 rated as well. We're, we're dropping 10 overall ratings if we do this deal. Remember, Marino is 85 rated. So I think he's gone as well. And I've just narrowed it down to these two players. We have Valverde from Real Madrid. The more expensive choice, but arguably the better choice, right? And then we've got Mark Rocca, who's playing for Espanyol, who are in the second division in the Spanish uh, competitions or... What's the what's the second La Liga? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's not Santander. I can't remember. But it makes sense to maybe try and, and pluck a, a young and uh, really decent player from a league that he's too good for and get him in my team. So um, I think we're going to wait and see how much money we have because I would love to try and get Valverde. He is the same height, um, but he's a little bit heavier and a, a bit more of a a stronger player on the ball, and I think he would replace Marino very, very well. If not, I think Mark Rocker is also a very good choice. He's not as agile and, you know, good at running, maybe not physically, but uh, he's he's also a very good player. But uh, I think Valverde beats him in every aspect of football, really. I mean, if you look at the stats, the only thing he's not as good at... Oh, wait, no, he's better at everything. It makes sense to try and get him. You guys know what my objective is in this series. That is to try and topple Real Madrid, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid. And I think signing a player like Valverde, weakening Real Madrid is a good thing to do. So we'll see how much money we get. Right now we've got about 20. But if we, of course, get the money for the Marino sale, that should put us up to a healthy amount. Whether it'll be enough, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. And I think it's done. He's, he's gone. Can't believe it, man. So 53.5 million goes into the transfer budget. Is that going to be enough? I've got a feeling it might not be. Uh, De La Cruz. What? If anything, you're more likely to play now because we've sold Marino. You're the man for the job, man. You're staying. There's no way. You're not going anywhere. So that puts us at 71 million. But I think regarding his wage, we're probably going to need a lot more. His wage is 190,000. I think I could probably get him to come down a little bit, but the release clause is affordable. We can do it, so why not just try? Let's see if we can get this done. If we can sign Valverde, that would be absolutely incredible. Right, I've muted the background. I mustn't forget to unmute it. Unmute it, Matt, please don't forget. Right. Squad roll, crucial. There's only one way we're signing him. Oh my God, we do not have the money for this. We just don't have the money for this. I've got 86,000 per week spare. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> yeah, I probably should have tried to sell someone else. Uh, no, we're going to have to put a release clause in, aren't we? I'm going to throw in 100 million. Go on. Okay, he'll accept it. Oh my god. Okay, he is willing to come down by quite a distance on his wage, but the signing bonus and the appearances... We just, we can't do that. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm about to do this to you, mate. You, you are a very good player and you deserve more, but all I can afford you... All I can afford, sorry, is 70k per week, and that's really scraping... I mean, like, let's do 80 and just see what he'll say. There's no way he accepts this. No way. No. We are 70 grand a week off. Oh, that's painful. Okay. Um, do I just sell a player and then have the money to do this deal? 
or do I just go for Rocker? I just don't know. This is such a difficult decision. I think I go for the right player. That's the thing I've got to do. I need to make the money. What I could do is recall Sanyan. Let's do it. We're recalling him and then we'll sell him. We need to sell him now. He is worth four, five million maybe. Oh, he's got a release clause of 3.9 though. I need to get rid of that. So let's do... Oh, I don't know. Will he, will he take maybe a 10 million one? I very much doubt it. Let's try and sort this out. Although I'm paying a little bit extra up front, potentially, if he wants a little bit more money, it means we can sell him for more. So, yeah, he wants 11.2 million. Let's see if we can get this up to 13. I think that's more than fair. Just accept it, mate. No? Okay, well, 11.2. That's fine. Will he take 7,900 again? <laughs> I very much doubt it. Um, let's give him 10. I think he should accept that. Go on. Yes. Okay, so now we can probably try and sell him for at least five or six million. Otherwise, we were only going to get 3.9, really. So uh, he's I'm sure he's a good player. Don't get me wrong. I think he could be very good, but maybe not what I'm trying to do with this save. So we'll try and get an offer. Wait, I did shortlist him, didn't I? Just double check. Yes, he is transfer listed. Let's hope we get an offer coming in. We have Villarreal up next. Where are they in the table? Villarreal in seventh. So uh, this is actually going to be a tough game. Although I'm pretty sure not many people care. I do actually have the latest boots. We've got a new boot mod. The latest boots that the players have been using since uh, the Premier League started at least. So that's quite cool. It's only me that cares. I swear if, if you're watching right now and you are obs obsessed with boots like I am. Please let me know. Tell me I'm not the only one. Also, I finally upgraded my controller. Actually, let me go ahead and uh, and show you this thing. This is the Razer Wolverine. They haven't paid me to do this, by the way. But I, I want to say thank you to them for sending it out. It's really, really quite different. It's got buttons on the back. You would have seen there when I turned it around. When I get free kicks and penalties, I'm going to be able to be much more, much more accurate because my old controller just lost its sensitivity, it felt like. It wasn't working very well at all. Oh, here's Kazula. Oh, oh. I wouldn't actually care if Kazola scored against us. What a legend. Here's McKenny now. Oh, he's on side. Erdegaard's in. Come on. Finish it. No, I got pushed out wide. McKenny doing a great job in uh, Marino's position. And to be fair, I could just stick with McKenny. I don't even need to bring someone in, but it, it makes sense, doesn't it? If you lose one of your best players, you really should be replacing them. Not just hoping you'll be okay. <coughs> Arsenal. <laughs> Here comes Villarreal down the right side. Couldn't get the cross in though. Unlucky. And it's a goal kick. Brilliant defending there from Gaia. This has definitely not been the most exciting game. But, oh, we've won the ball there. Nice. Let's see if we can get forward here with Erdegaard. He's basically been the only player to have a real chance in this match. Now here is Porto. Try and play it into the box if we can. <sighs> no good runs being made. Here's Buta. In for a tired Tavares today. Oyarzabal. Um, okay then. My players decided just to stand next to each other. Who even practices social distancing these days, eh? And that's going to be half time. This has been a really, really boring match. I can only apologise there hasn't been more highlights. Hopefully a better performance in the second half from us is coming. Can I have some support please? Thank you very much. Can I get this into Erdegaard? Probably not. Let's pass this one back. Over here to Dominguez. A yards about. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, it almost worked. See what, my passing has been shocking. It really has. This is purely down to me, guys. I'm just playing badly. Go on, Jovic. Good turn. Hits it. Ah, oh, I needed that to go in. Come on. Oh, it's a good corner, though. Ah, oh, McKenny. Get your head over it. Oh, jeez. Dare I say it, but we're missing Marino. No surprise, really. He was such a key player. McKenny's doing his best, but he, he's not 85 rated. It's, it's just not quite the same. Maybe we can do something here, though. Look at Erdegaard. Oh, win the header. What just happened? What just happened? What did the keeper do, and how has Erdegaard missed this? Oh, jeez, that is embarrassing. That is really, really embarrassing. I'm going to make a change now anyway. Porto's not getting involved. Let's try Baron Achea. Oh, actually, no, hang on. I'm going to bring in Yanazai. 
because Baron Achea is on the bench or on the reserves for this game. He was tired, but we're going to put Oyarzabal in his normal natural position as a left winger. I changed him to a right winger, but Yanazai has been superb lately. So let's bring him in. And I'm also going to bring in Zaracho. Why not? Erdegaard's not having his uh, his best appearance for us right now. Let's see if that makes a difference. Actually, no. Do you know what? I'm bringing on Isaac as well. Jovic hasn't done anything. Let's see if uh, if we can get Isaac involved and maybe he will get the winner. That would be a nice moment for him. Come on. We've got to do something. Come on. Here's Isaac. Through for Zaracho. He's got space to run into here. Nice. 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 Oh, my God. He's headed it over. Wow. That was my opportunity to win this game, even though I have been absolutely terrible. I don't deserve to win this game, let alone get a draw at this point. So, I guess if we can still win it, though, I'd be very, very happy. Oh, what a ball that is. Nope. Oh, man. This game has been absolutely terrible. It really has. Oh, Hello, one more opportunity. Go on. No! Why would it select him? I wanted it to go to Isaac. Yes, Buta. Go on, son. Here's Yanazai. No, that's a foul. Oh, we've got a free kick. Okay. Wait, what? No! Oh, I thought it was a free kick. He's actually blown the whistle. Get me out of here, man. That was such a bad game. We've dropped points again. I just realized, by the way, do we even have time for that little, you know, one week reset period when we can make another offer for Valverde. I think we're okay. We're, we're just going to be able to do that. But we've got Real Madrid in the round of 16 of the Spanish Cup coming up next. We've got three emails. Oh. Wow. Okay, then. Well, William Jose has just made it possible to sign Valverde as long as he agrees. He could be on his way to Wolfsburg. Nice. Okay. That's amazing. Let's hope that works. And no worries, Anazai. I didn't really do much with you in that second half. I think I'm going to let him start this next game against Real Madrid. But this would mean we don't really need to sell Sanyan. Could have just left him on loan, couldn't I? But I was just trying everything I could to make sure we get the money together. Um, let's see what happens in the next few days. Is he going to go? Why does it keep popping up when there isn't even an email to look at? It does that all the time. Right. Has it happened? Yeah, it has. He's gone. Oh, my God. I could sign Valverde now if I'm allowed to. And he'll play against his team, his old team. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. Um, no, you're not in charge, mate. You're not playing. You're not playing. That's for sure. Can I do it? Please let me. Oh, I can't do it yet. That would have been so, so funny. Right, okay, well, let's um, let's hope he either doesn't play against us or that if he does, we don't injure him or he doesn't get injured because that would be really quite frustrating. But we're going to play Real Madrid right now. Is he starting for them? I, I don't think he is. No, he is. I see him. Valverde is starting for Real Madrid. He's playing as a right centre mid, it looks like. They're going with Benzema up top. Hazard's in there. Asensio, I think that is as well. Oh, what a ball. This could be a great start. Whoa, 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 careful now. Get that in the box for Jovic. Go on. Jovic against his parent club. And we've scored with our first chance. Did he actually get a touch on this? I can't help but feel this is an own goal. I don't know. I don't get the feeling that he actually did, did anything there. He's celebrating, so he must have. Let's have a look here. We get lucky with the, uh, the tackle not quite making it. Cross comes in and it's definitely a goal for Jovic. He's gone in between the two defenders there, and he's headed home. Fantastic. And there's Valverde. Don't injure him, Matt. Don't injure him. He's going to be playing for us in the next game. Oh, Yanazai. Great touch. Here he is. The fake shot on the inside of Ferlamendi. Into the box now. It is deflected out for a corner. Yanazai has been involved quite a bit already in this game. I think I've just been really harsh on him, you know. I think he's better than I think. He is 83 rated after all. I mean, it's really not too bad at all, is it? Oh, jeez. Oyarzabal just got flattened. And now it's three versus two. Oh, God. This could be bad. Here is Eden Hazard on the right wing. Don't know what he's doing there. Go on, get a tackle in. Oh, Gaia has done brilliant there. Well done. Let's go. Go on, Yanazai. Over the top. Oh, actually, no. Win the header. Yes. Is he on side? Oh, it wouldn't have mattered. He, got, he, he, couldn't, score. he couldn't score anyway. I mean... If I'm going to win this game, I need to score there. <laughs> I've got a feeling I'll need more than one. That's for sure. Oh, that almost landed perfectly for me. 
Here's Pau Torres. Here's McKenny now. Oh, Jovic. Oh, <laughs> I just can't get anything going here. Oh, you're joking me. You are joking me! Eden Hazard, just like that. He's a game changer. He really is. He, he's as good as as anyone at, at a moment like that. He just scores. Just out of nowhere as well. I let him show me on the inside as well. Oh, it's just... Look how easy that was. Jeez, what a goal. Wow. You can't be mad at something like that. It's just a spectacular finish from a spectacular player. Just it is what it is. Oh, what a cross. No way. Go on, Yanazai. Oh! Saved by Courtois. Come on, one last chance before he blows his whistle. I'm just going to hit it with Diaz. No, I knew he was going to blow it as well. Okay, we've performed well. We've conceded just a freak goal. It is what it is. Let's hope in the second half we can keep a clean sheet for 45 minutes and score another goal. Wait, who's this? Beretta. Is he a striker? Yeah, I don't see Benzema. I think they've, they've brought on a regen or a new gen. Oh, God. Great pass, Dominguez. They've swapped Benzema out for this guy. Number 30. Okay, we're going to have to have a look in the in the transfer market, see what he's about. You know, how good is he? What if he's like the new the new Ronaldo for Real Madrid and we could potentially steal him? You know, maybe we'll have to look into it. Here is Erdegaard on the left side. I'm going to play that back to McKenney. Put him over the top. Oh my God, that's not the ball I was looking for. Wait, they've got... They've got Trent Alexander-Arnold as well. How have I got to the 68th minute and not seen that? They've done some uh, some work in the transfer market, haven't they? Here's Eden Hazard again. He's been a nightmare in this match. Hey, I guessed it right. See you later, mate. Right, let's play on here. Come on. Come on. Let's have a run. Put it through for Odegaard. Nice. Through for Jovic. It's okay. It's okay. We're still going here. Over to Jovic. Please. Yes! Come on! Get in there. We've got 18 minutes left. Okay, I'm going to make some changes. Defensive changes as well. I'm going to go with a, a false nine, I think. We're going to try this out. Jovic. No, we're going to keep him on, actually. I'm going to take off Erdegaard and bring in Dela Cruz. And I'm also going to bring in Baron Achea. Uh, take off Yanazai and swap those guys around. Let's see if that can just help us out a little bit in midfield. Because they are running the show. And we've only got a little bit more now to defend. And we're going through. Valverde is coming off. Tony Cruz is coming on. Is that is that it for him at Real Madrid? I think it might be. I'm going to be signing him after this game. Absolutely. Oh, I'm, I'm at least going to try to. It might not work out. Who knows what's going to happen. Is that going to be another corner? No, it's a goal kick. Okay, we've got four minutes plus injury time. I kind of just want to hoof this into the corner. Let's just uh, try. Oh, I, I tried at least. He's just gone for a header for some reason. I just don't want them having the ball. And then maybe we can just <laughs> just survive the onslaught that's inevitable. It's coming. They're going to be attacking us. Oh, nice. Let's just boot that down there. Waste a little bit more time. The keeper's not even coming out. Look how slow they are to recover this. It is done. They've, they've got... Tell me that's not the actual blind. There's, there's no way he signed for Real Madrid. <laughs> Anyway, who cares? We've done it, guys. I don't think there's a second leg. We'll have to double check, but we've at least won against them here today. So we've got one game left here, and then it is deadline day tomorrow. We're going to go ahead and simulate this one against Levante, and then we're going to try and make the signing happen. We get a 2-0 win, but here we go, guys. It is time. Tavares is happy. I'm proud of you, my son. Very, very well played lately. Right. We've got 90 million, so this should be comfortable. Oh, thank God for that. I was really worried for a second we still wouldn't be able to approach. But uh, just, again, look at these stats. He is such a well-rounded player. He will be amazing for us. So once again, we're going to go ahead and activate the, um, the release clause. I was really worried. I forgot to unmute then from the last... The last time we negotiated, I had a little bit of a panic moment. We are going to mute again, though, because, of course, it is this stupid cutscene which is copyrighted. Thank you, EA, for fixing the issue. Yep, still haven't done that. Let's see if we can get this deal done. We know he was willing to go to around 100,000. We'll do Crucial as the squad role, which, of course, he will accept. I think anything else he would just say no, wouldn't he? Contract, let's just do five years. Why not? 
or so happy with that. Release clause, they're not interested or they don't really care, but of course, we're going to add one. I'm actually going to bump it up a little bit. We're going to go to 110 million. Will they accept it? There you go. He's going to be well worth that very soon. Right. Let's remove that. Let's edit this a little bit. Let's see if we can get him on 100k and I'll give him 1.1 up front. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, he wants 120k. Okay, for that, you're going to have to reduce this to a milli. Take a milli and you can have 120k. Boom! Oh my god, what a signing. What a signing this is. Marino is gone, but we brought in Valverde. That is... Is that an upgrade? I think it probably is. It's close. They're both very good. In fact, they would be both very good together. But hey, it's unfortunate. Marino left, but we've just replaced him with a fantastic player. Let's go ahead and take a look at that striker they brought on. Luri, wait, what? I think he's a fake Brazilian player. He's not even real. Oh, what a shame. I got so excited. Wait, where's Benzema? What? Am I going absolutely insane? Was it actually Benzema? Let me check what's going on here. Benzema, he's a centre forward playing for Real Madrid. Oh, it's because I searched for strikers. Well, we do need another striker, technically, because we've sold William Jose. Just a third option. Someone that can come in and, and do really well for us. So I'm just going to take a little look around and see who's available, really. So there is one player that I found that I'm quite interested in, and that is Joshua Zerxi from uh, Bayern Munich. He's been playing a few games for them recently. Now that they've won the title as well, I'm sure he'll get more minutes. Uh, I thought I'd just offer a transfer swap and uh, throw in the centre-back that I no longer need. And they are not interested. Okay, well, fair enough. We're just going to go ahead, offer a transfer fee of... Oh, God. I've kind of just been thrown in at the deep end here. It's my fault. I didn't really have time to uh, to do this. Uh, I don't know how much he's worth. Should just throw in five mil. Surely he's worth more than that, though. I just screwed up. Who cares, though? It's a bit of fun. Let's get him on a four-year contract. Prospect as his squad role. Oh, okay. So if they want the release clause at 13 million, that's that's actually not too bad. Maybe I haven't gone too crazy. Let's see if we can get 15 in there. Nope. They're not very negotiable on these things, are they? I'm going to have a look and see if there's a face mod for him as well. Why not? But uh, a wage of 17k, a signing bonus. Do you know what? Just have it. And then we are done with this trans window. This is the other player I looked at, but I don't think I really wanted to get him. So what was his rating? I've just paid 5 million for a 70 rated striker. I mean, it's, it is a lot of money, but it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and throw him into the, into the team here. Let's just hope we get an offer for the centre back that we don't want. Sanyan or whatever his name is. Let's see. And he does look okay, by the way. If you're doing maybe uh, a mid-table team... Maybe he could do quite well for you, but I don't think he's ever going to really make it in this team. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't look like we're going to get any offers. So now we've got one too many players for this, this rule that I've been going on of having only 25 players in the squad. Unless we get an offer now, it's, it's too late. Yeah, there we go. It's done. OK, well, I might just release him. <laughs> it really doesn't matter at this point. Oh, how much money has been spent? And don't tell me we've just had an offer come in. That'd be hilarious. Training injury, six weeks to McKenney. Great, great. 600 million was spent as well. It's not as much as normal, but uh, there you can see in the quarterfinal. Wait, what? Oh, it was the round of 16 against Madrid. I thought it was the quarters. But anyway, we've got uh, Real Sociedad coming up. Let me, let me go ahead and do the squad numbers. We need to sort this out now. Jovic can now have the number nine shirt. Or should I give that to Isaac? Nah, we'll give it to, to Jovic. Why not? And then Xerxes gets number 17. Okay, well, that's going to be the end of this episode. We're going to finish with some training here. And it's not very good at all. Le Normand is almost 80. Munoz halfway to 79, roughly. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed this episode and you've enjoyed the trans window, please do leave a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And I will see you in the next one shortly.